mighty bumbo. No nerve. I'm speaking to my congregation. I'm doing my eulogy. Dear congregation, I just cannot take it anymore. Look at me. Purple. Who would have thought I would be here today in this 8 by 10 cell in this crazy house? I had it all. Good life. Great friends. Money. Until that so-called man for me and that woman paved my way here. No, everybody calls me crazy. But I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. I am a victim of sexual promiscuity. Yes, you heard me right. I said sexual promiscuity and automatically I got all are you thinking. You think whenever you hear sexual promiscuity, you automatically think about women and AIDS. Well, in my case, it is about that man for me they call Tiger. And all he woman them. Marsha, Pam, Suzette, Janice, and now this latest one they call Monica. You see? It's about me and how I get bored. And the reason I snap is me to worry I come here to here. Everybody knows. <laughs> I worked hard. I get tiger all my money to start the construction business. And now we got a big house over in Half Moon Bay. I can't even enjoy it. I want to come home and hear, hi honey. <laughs> but instead I get it. You ain't sexy. You're fat. You're ugly. You're stupid. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to take a trip. So I came back. All refreshed. I got a bracelet. Lost some weight. I even start to bleach. I gave Tiger the total package. So I'm at the airport, all excited. You know, up to now, Tiger ain't gonna pick me up. When I get to the house, that Monica in my bed, wearing my lingerie, with my tiger stroking up. And all he could look at me and say is, he done. I was even begging him to stay in me. When that Monica look at me talking about, I got you man, and you can't do nothing about it. Relationship. And he don't even see fit for me to be a mother. He don't even see fit for me to be his wife. But in three months, she breed and they're planning big, big wedding. Well, if you're not purple, you know it ain't going on like that. So the daddy wedding come and the church full and the pastor announced. If there's anybody here for any impediment reason, well, I ain't even weird. I went straight up there. Well, when I'm done with it, well, it's what they tell me. They said I had to cut it off from the damage you get. And as for she, she run with she AIDS like Bolt and Red Bull. And me? I'm sure you can see. No, I'm not advocating that you do the same thing I did, you know. Because if you do, like me, you will end up too. But some of you in here right now are just as guilty as Tiger and Monica. Stop it! I did.
Jane. Let me you know Jane. I'm a mad black woman. I love you, Tiger.